Let's find out more about this strain of monkeypox virus that's causing the current outbreak that started back in May. With DNA sequencing, it looks like this strain came from Nigeria, which is considered to be part of Western Africa. Why is that significant? Because Western Africa has the milder strain of monkeypox virus compared to Central Africa. But what's the incubation period with this monkeypox virus? The incubation period is the time from when the virus gets inside you to the time that you start manifesting signs and symptoms. It's typically five to 13 days. On average, it's eight and a half days, but it can be as wide of a range as four to 21 days. Let's get more into the specifics with the signs and the symptoms of this virus. Monkeypox it usually causes a specific rash after the prodromal symptoms, and those prodromal symptoms include severe fatigue, fevers, chills, and body aches. In addition to swollen lymph nodes, those swollen lymph nodes can either be in a certain part of the body or it can be spread throughout. But with this monkeypox outbreak, some people have had skin lesions in the genital regions, in the mouth region, without actually having the prodromal symptoms. And if there is a prodromal period, it typically lasts up to five days. The rash usually starts about one to four days after the fever, and it can last about two to three weeks. But again, not everyone gets the prodromal symptoms. Some people only have a few skin lesions, while others can get up to a few thousand. And in some severe cases, those skin lesions can coalesce, causing large areas of skin to slough off. In general, the monkey pox rash tends to involve the face, the palms, and then the soles of the feet. It can also be in the mouth and throat, inside your eyelids, in the genital and rectal areas. In fact, with this outbreak, some patients have had proctitis, which is inflammation of the lining of the rectum. The painful skin lesions, they start out as two to five millimeter spots or macules. They then evolve into papules and then vesicles and eventually pustules. They eventually crust over and fall off about one to two weeks after the initial onset of rash. Sometimes monkeypox can cause complications like secondary bacterial infections, pneumonia, and sepsis. Sometimes it can cause infection of the cornea of the eye resulting in loss of vision. During this current outbreak, there have been some unusual presentations. For instance, some people started with genital lesions and then it later spread to their trunk and their face. While in other instances, it never spread to the face, arms, or legs. Some patients have presented with anal pain, rectal pain, bleeding from the rectum, and tenismus, which is the feeling that you have to pass stools even though your bowels are already empty. For most people, monkeypox is a self-limited disease that lasts two to four weeks. Severity of disease, it depends on age and underlying health status. Children are actually more likely to have more severe disease compared to adults. Mortality with monkeypox has varied. With a strain that's in Central Africa, the worst strain, Previously, they had about a 10% fatality rate there. But so far with this monkeypox outbreak, there haven't been any deaths reported in non-endemic countries. How is the diagnosis of monkeypox made? Signs and symptoms lead to suspicion of monkeypox, but it's not confirmed. You need lab testing to do that. So a swab is taken, a swab of those skin lesions, and then that swab is sent for PCR testing. But not all places do PCR testing, so sometimes we have to take blood samples and send those off and test those for the antibodies. Patients with monkeypox, they typically have detectable levels of anti-orthopoxovirus IgM antibody during the period of 4 to 56 days after the onset of rash. Most infections are mild and never require any treatment in a hospital. So for people with monkeypox infections, they should stay at home unless they have to go out for essential reasons like going to the doctor's office or if they have to go to the hospital. Unexposed people shouldn't be in the home of someone who has an infection if possible. If you're infected and you have to be around others, you want to cover up those lesions by wearing clothing, so pants and shirts or long sleeve shirts, socks, and possibly gloves. And because it is technically possible that it can be transmitted by large respiratory droplets, a mask. Household members providing care to those with monkeypox infection will need to be wearing disposable gloves if they're going to be coming into contact with those skin lesions. And of course, washing hands afterwards. You'll also have to be mindful that clothes, bed sheets, towels, that can all become contaminated and will have to be washed accordingly. There's a lot more to know about monkeypox that I didn't cover in this video, including specific treatments and vaccines. So be on the lookout for more videos on that.